and welcome to a new video uh, today I have two cakes my sessions in the studio so I thought I would show you a little bit of my setups um, sharing my settings okay so here we got the cake I'm just gonna take it out of the box and put it on the stand um, this is a giant cupcake shape has fondant in the bottom it's all cake so it's all you can eat the whole thing if you want usually the babies don't eat that much so here you can see the cake in front of the background I put like some letters one in the top which you will only see in the vertical photos horizontal photos it will just be the wood with the leaves here's the cake little benches just for the portrait photos and the floral number one and I'm gonna remove that later when she starts eating the cake but you'll see for now this is it this backdrop is from um, studiobackdrops.eu I'll put the link in the description it's two meters wide and then four meters long so here you can see like a pull back so it goes all the way to the front I'm just gonna fill up my little bathtub we're ready to go okay so the camera I'm using is the Nikon D750 with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens aperture 2.8 I'm shooting mostly at an aperture of 3.2 or 3.5 when I'm just shooting the girl alone. If I do a family portrait, which is optional, um, I will shoot with an aperture of 4.5 or even smaller to get them all in focus, but I'll use a different background. Um, ISO is usually around 640, shutter speed 200. I will put, I'm using these speed lights, it's the SP700. Um, I had some problems with one of these. I wanted to get it repaired and then I was still using it and then it started working again just fine. So I have two of them, one on top of the hot shoe on my camera pointed towards the ceiling. One is going to be in my Westcott 50 inch softbox facing inwards. Um, so this is on the master setting and this one is then on the um, remote setting. So yeah, try to make sure to have a backup as well. So I have another full frame camera here, the D610. I have other lenses here in case I drop my lens. Uh, so I could always photograph with a 50 millimeter lens, for example. Um, if one of my speed lights stops working, I have triggers. So I can put a trigger on the hot shoe of my camera and then just use one speed light in the softbox with the trigger there as well. I do have another speed light. It's from Yongnuo, something like that. Uh, but I prefer my Nikon one. So I'm gonna look into buying a Godix speed light because a lot of people recommended that. Um, so yeah, I have backup batteries as well. I have extra memory cards with you. Maybe it's gonna give you like an error. Um, make sure that your camera is charged. I have in my battery grip another battery for my camera. So I don't have to worry about any of those things during my session. Um, it's always nice if you have something to make the baby look at you, especially when they're all focused into eating the cake. So I always ask the parents to bring a bathing suit, a towel, maybe a little snack for in between the session if the child gets a little bit hungry and grumpy, uh, something to drink for the baby. And then, yeah, just, you know, clean set of clothes and the clothes they're gonna wear during the session but also maybe a little toy with some sound that they know so that when they're really into eating the cake, we can just hold it behind my head, play with the toy and they're gonna look up towards the camera. A lot of the time they forget to bring a toy. So I bought this little uh, Samba ball and I bought it for one euros at the Hema. I like that it doesn't have batteries, it's wood. Um, and I can just use this a little bit to let get the baby to look at me. Sometimes sneezing helps, like fake sneezing, uh, play peekaboo, sing a song, just, you know, make the baby feel happy and get the baby to look at you. Ask the parents not to call the baby and not to, you know, sing along and do peekaboo as well, because otherwise the baby doesn't know where to look anymore. So it's better if they either keep quiet and just relax and watch from the side, or they sit straight behind me on my level and then try to get the baby to smile. Um, so yeah, I ask them not to take photos during the session with their phone because sometimes they even call the baby's name when they try to take a photo with their phone and it's just super distracting uh, because I'm supposed to take the photos. So yeah, I just vacuumed. Client should be here any minute. Cake is still on the set so they can have like 
complete picture of what it all looks like and yeah my speed lights are still turned off because the baby is first going to get ready for some portrait photos so they usually change the baby and then we're just going to start and when the baby comes in i greet them i say hi i won't you know be in their face too much i just chat with the parents but i'll still you know give some attention to the baby maybe i'll bring a balloon throw it up in the air so they get enthusiastic uh, maybe i already sing some songs you know clapping in the hands it really depends on the baby uh, if the baby is more like uh, shy then i won't be really in their face yet <laughs> i'll just be chatting with the parents so they can you know observe me and um hopefully are not scared of me so i'm gonna put my hair up in a bun and then i'm ready for the session let's go Okay, so I let her use some of my headbands and necklaces. Just make sure that if you let them use it, that you're okay with it getting cake on it. Uh, some are really hard to clean. So these ones I didn't have for the cake, just for the portrait photos. And this one and this one, they're easier to clean. So I gave them for the cake as well. Um, so yeah, now it's time for a change. Okay, so this cake smash session with the little girl went great. Um, so now I'm going to set up for like a woodland themed cake smash with a drip cake. It has like dark green drip and then like a black teepee tent. So for the decor, I'm gonna set up my own little teepee tent uh, with some fairy lights maybe I'll attach to it. I have these wooden blocks I got on AliExpress. So I'm gonna use those. I'm gonna have a garland with some of like forest animals. Uh, so I'm just gonna add those to the ones I already have on there. And um, maybe I'll even leave the wooden branch with the leaves on it because I think it looks really cool in like a woodland theme. I didn't have it yet when the mom booked, so she hasn't seen it yet maybe. But I'll just leave it on there and then if she doesn't like it, I can always take it down. Uh, so let's go. So here you got the cake, so I'm gonna take the cake out of the box and put it on the cake stand. This is called more like a boho drip cake and it has like a moss green drip and a black teepee tent on top. I'm just gonna place it on the wood. And um, I'm going to place some fake leaves on top. So I have my beautiful IKEA plant which is almost dead. Because I keep cutting branches from this plant, so I gotta buy a new one. But it, I don't know, somehow it looks quite real in the photos. As you can see, the wider your backdrop, the better. So two meters is actually already squishing it pretty tight. Which means that in editing, you might have to extend your background a little bit. Um, but for now, here you can see the cake. Uh, it still has the teepee tent and the little bench in the back. Um, when we take photos with the cake, I've removed the bench and the teepee tent. So those are just for the portrait photos. But just to, this is just to give like a full picture of what it's going to be like. And I might take like an Instagram photo or do an Instagram stories on the set. So then I will place the cake in front of it for now. 
So what I always have right next to me when I'm taking the photos is just uh, a bunch of a bunch of clean towels. Uh, often the parents forget the towels as well to dry off the baby, and it's just like when I'm helping the baby to eat, I want to wipe off my hands real quick and take a photo again. So I have some towels right next to me. Okay, what I also have right next to me are floor wipes to clean the backdrop after the cake. I got some baby wipes to clean off the baby in between, you know, eating the cake or after eating the cake. I have these wooden letters one that I can place uh, in front of the bathtub, for example, if they like. I always have like a little clean spoon with me as well, because some babies really don't want to get their hands messy but they love eating with a spoon or just like picking around in the cake. So I have a little spoon. Also, some babies really don't realize that they can eat the cake. So then we'll just uh, give them a few bites. I have bubbles to blow bubbles. Um, we can use that when they're in the bathtub, but also for babies who really don't want to be close to the cake, just to distract them a little bit, we'll blow some bubbles. Well, they have the cake in front of them. They'll look at the bubbles, maybe even smile and forget about the cake and won't cry because the cake is very close to them. Um, so yeah, some things to draw their attention when they're diving into the cake. Uh, so that's what I always have right here next to me. And then I will have another basket for him to sit in if he's already a big crawler or even a walker. Uh, just to have him a little bit in one spot. Um, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I really love the garland in the back. And then this as a decor, the teepee tent. Um, just the whole setup. here on my channel so that's really cool so the mom's a subscriber as well which is awesome uh the mom of the baby who came here this morning also a subscriber super cool so uh both of the kids did really great i have awesome photos of both of them um uh, so yeah the boy was moving around a little bit more at the beginning so you have to be fast taking photos just taking it from different angles um trying to distract the boy a little bit um, and then with the cake, at first I thought he wasn't going to eat anything, but then he realized that it was quite tasty, so he started eating, so that was really fun. He didn't really enjoy the bathtub that much, uh, but I do have some shots. I think the first moment he got in, that was a really lovely photo as well. I still have the mom's arm in there as well, but I can just edit it out. So yeah, I'm just packing up my camera bag. It's heavy, but full of good stuff. Hello and good morning. It is uh, Wednesday today. And I'm in the studio for a cake to my session and afterwards I have a sitter session. So I'm just going to show you my setup for the cake to my session. So the mom picked out this cake from the website. It's kind of like a naked cake and then it has a fondant uh, flower on it, mint green. It's for a little boy. And these are the fake leaves from the IKEA plant. In the back I have this as a decor, very sweet and simple. I like it, just some blue and mint green. And the tiny balloons I cannot blow up by myself, but I used the, <laughs> the balloon pump to blow them up. So here I have towels ready, floor wipes, baby wipes. Again, my light setup is just a simple speed light in this big soft box. It'll be on uh, this side. And then there's the speed light on top of my camera to bounce off the ceiling, just to add a little bit of fill light. But the main light will be the softbox, but I will move it to the other side.
wiped off the background drop. Uh, it's all clean again. Uh, parents took the cake home as always, so they're gonna eat that uh, maybe later today. Um, and now I'm gonna set up for well, it's not really a theater session, it's like a baby session with a five month old baby. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video on Christmas sessions, my settings, the things that I set up, uh, the order of taking photos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. If you have a nice comment, also leave it in the comments. I love reading your comments. Um, so, yeah, and then it would be cool if you would like this video and subscribe and stuff. And then hopefully you'll see me in my next video. And I will see you in the comments. Have a lovely day or evening, depending on where you are. And um, bye bye. <laughs>